gentlemen, welcome back to Tanks Gaming today again with another Hearts of Iron 4 video where we play together with Patrick, the Man in the High Castle mod. Patrick plays as Brittany and already has taken over uh, Ireland and I just started to invade Canada with the Japanese Pacific States and so far so good. It seems to be working out rather nicely actually at the moment. Trying to link up my troops here in the north the Can Can uh, Alaskan province with the rest. So I have just one front then. I have all 20 divisions on that. Still trying to take Vancouver, which is not working out as great. It could work out much better. Although, it should Ew. fall rather soonish. Oh, right. I need to build okay, I'm pushing for you. more military factories and actually. Well, if we can't do anything else, build up the infrastructure. A few days and then my centurion is... Uh, what's it called? Uh, researched? Very nice. I'm short on chromium, actually. Who can give me chromium? Well, let's get it from Germany. Why the hell not? How about you attack here again? Because those guys... Oh, now they have full organization again. That's not so good. Come on, guys. Take Vancouver. We nearly have a huge cutoff over here. That would be nice if that works out. And let's get another extra research slot. Why the hell not? I'm pushing to Ottawa. Nazi states of America want to send me some volunteer divisions as well. Sure. Hmm. Why the hell not? Okay, I'm pushing with you. Uh, I don't know if you see that. Pushing towards Ottawa? Yeah, uh, yes. very nice. Very nice. How's your army experience coming along? Nice. Already okay. on 20. Very nice. 113 <laughs> right now. <laughs> so I'm gonna upgrade my tank division. I think we've, I'm gonna finally take Vancouver here. Which will be nice. This attack is just going nowhere though. This one is winning though. And I have a cutoff. So all the troops down in Vancouver are cut off right now. Nice. Which is nice. Okay, um, I don't know if it's smart, but I have like my medium tanks are a row of medium tanks, like five medium tanks, five light tanks, and three motorized. Yeah. Is that smart? You always have to check the combat width and the if you do ma if you make up the divisions. Combat width is twenty nine. That's uh, either get it to forty or to twenty, or keep it on twenty. Oh wait, it's on twenty now. That's Safe. okay. Why and not? If you have if you have this window open, um, also check like the HP. If uh, if you don't have any infantry or not enough infantry in there, they have very low HP. So they are very good to break through somewhere, but they are not able to hold a, a long, a prolonged fight. They will just get eighty six hit hit points. That's not quite a lot, actually. And how do you upgrade that? Uh, add more infantry. Take out some tank okay. divisions and add some more infantry divisions. Do cavalry do that either? Yeah, cavalry. Uh, I think cavalry should boost that as well. Yeah. Yeah. Um, how about you go super aggro mode? How does that work out for me? Pretty nice, actually. Yeah. Looks like the Canadians are done. Looks pretty much the case that this is the case, I mean. Uh, I actually don't want that much artillery. One row should be more than enough. Uh, how is the losses looking? Ah, I just... Um, at the beginning I had much more casualties. And now the Canadians have like nearly double the casualties I have. Which is nice. What's the American troop troops doing actually? Oh, they send a light okay. tank division over here. Nice. Submerge. Go on to the island. The rest does that. Okay. 
Probably should support over here. So we can finally crush this infantry division. Uh, it's okay, yes. The rest of you guys, how about you just rush towards Ottawa? Okay, I'm focusing on my um, own front, so I'm sorry, but I set my man to push. That's okay, I'm pushing super aggro mode as well. I actually gave my troops the order to push towards... Uh, I give a right-click order to go to Ottawa. Okay, because I'm declaring war now on... On Sweden. Sweden! Okay, so that means your troops are actually leaving my territory. No, 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 no. Yes, they do. Oh, You why? declare war, your troops leave. That's always good. So you have your troops fighting in your own territory. That was the extra research slot I got there. What? Um, Some more political power working towards the faction. Nah, no more manpower. <clears throat> I had Mountaineers researched, I just have not added them to my troops, which is a bit weird. What is it? I have 66.10% uh, naval superior. Superiority, yep. Yeah. Superiority. And if I attack, like, we lack sufficient intel to dare. Oh, that, haha. <clears throat> so you don't have enough naval superiority then? Nope, uh, I, I forgot to click one. But now they're on the way. Ah. So. Ah, no more divisions in my way? Doesn't look like it. Okay, I've the best medium tank already researched, so... Looks like my troop have free reign. Yeah, yeah, just crush those guys. Actually, horsey division. Go to other. Oh my god. Swedish fleet. Horsey Don't. division. Go to... Montreal. Probably help here. Crush him! My troops are doing good in Canada. Oh yeah. Yeah, more than double the losses than I have right now. That's not good. Probably can't... Yeah, they still have like... more. Probably two more divisions than I have in the... Uh, overall, but... Doesn't really matter, does it? As long as I defeat them. Like four divisions rushing right for Ottawa and Montreal, which probably should bring them to their knees. I mean, maybe. Victory points. Yeah. Still have a couple of victory points somewhere. I just don't know where. You're still moving. Concentrated industry has been upgraded. That's very nice. Yeah, do that. Of course, I'm getting killed by um, by guys blowing up stuff in my territory. Well, which I just occupied. What is it called? Um, I don't know. I'm looking for words. Sabotage. That works the word oh, I was sabotage. looking for. Yeah. Okay, I've taken Ottawa. Take Montreal next. Horsey, go for this harbor over here. That was quite a lot of points there. Oh, you're actually going for Toronto. Very nice. Huh? Oh, one division is doing stuff <laughs> I actually haven't told them to do, but it's just doing it. Which is nice. Mm-hmm. Taking Montreal. What? No, take Montreal. Take Montreal, come on guys. Uh oh. Ottawa. I got a couple of division cut off. How is my fleet just getting sent? Because uh, probably the enemy fleet is... Nah, that can't be. 
Sweden should have a strong fleet, do they? They do. Oh yeah, they got up to 33 ships. So if you don't have 33 sh uh, more than 30 ships, you probably more, screwed. I had more, like... Rubber, I need more rubber. Give me some rubber, Australia. Canada should kind of capitulate. Three more percent, okay. So they should kind of capitulate soon ish. Ish? Soon ish. I have dope for you. Where would be their next capital? Probably on the island I cannot reach because I don't have a fleet. How about you guy come up here? You guy take that, you take that. Because that's just now territory I have to take. Yeah, two more percent, a couple more provinces and it should be done. Take here. Yeah, cut them off there. You actually cut them off over here. Taking territory over there. You guys attack here. You guys attack here. Research has been done. Uh, concentrated industry, sure. Sure thing, give me that. I still could get like... Ah, let's get the artillery. I got some toad artillery in there. Are you taking that? Yes, you are. Um... Oh, Halifax. Halifax is the new capital. I see. Actually, all those guys down here should be added to that. Yep, yeah, that would be a smart attack move. That should be it, right? Probably, I don't know. Yeah, they are at 10% exactly. Maybe midnight? Nope. So, okay, a little bit more is needed. Just move to Halifax then. Just give him a right. There we are. Beautiful. Done. Take all states. Nice. Take turn. Done. Way! War ended. A lot more territory for the US, uh, for the Japanese Pacific states. And right on we go with our next war goal. Or nearly. Preparing for it anyways. Um, which one would be a good one? Uh, probably this one. Uh, duplicate. Then switch them over to heavy tanks. Add a couple more heavy tanks in there. Remove those, remove those, remove those, remove those. Actually make those guys mobile battalions. Combat width of 20, beautiful. Um, the new division will be heavy tanks. Heavy tanks. Oops. Save it, I need. 200 heavy tanks to do that, though. Oops, actually. You're gonna be veteran troops. Well, not veteran, but having superior order to get stuff delivered to you faster. Uh, let's get the field hospital next. Let's get the last level of mountaineers up and ready. Actually, that's okay. Okie dokie. done um i wanted to do something i've like 18k over with that one 200 tanks nearly ready i wanted to do what i don't remember yes you do i actually don't i wanted oh. to do something with my divisions i think 
Um. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember now. Yeah. 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 Give him some mountaineers in their divisions. So they have some bonuses in mountains. Of course, that means they need to retrain again. Last division is coming down. How is your attack in Sweden going? Bad. <laughs> have you landed anywhere? Just... No. <laughs> That's my point. <laughs> I don't have enough ships, so... I'll build up your fleet, then. Yeah, but I need oil. You need oil? And then it says low manpower. Uh, then you need to change your manpower laws. Doing that right now. I'm gonna put to uh, a limited constriction. I have 220 tanks. Beautiful. That means horsey division. You've been promoted to get uh, the first heavy tank division. To become the first heavy tank division, I mean. Ooh, my general got quite some treats. He's already level 6. He's a mountaineer now. He's a winter specialist, a commando, and an engineer for river attack crossings. Nice. Nice. And if I justify against Mexico. Mexico? Mexico. How long will that take me? Baja California. 280 days as well. How much divisions do they have? 5 to 6. Screw it, I'm justifying against Mexico. Actually, against Mexico. Baja California. Uh oh, I'm short again on production stuff. Uh, more military factories, please. Please, more military factories everywhere. Actually, a couple more in here. So, there we go. Oh, maybe Alaska as well. And that probably build up the infrastructure in Canada. That would be rather helpful, I think. Tank, how much... Uh, would, uh, would 134 hit points for a medium tank division be enough? Uh, if you have an infantry division behind it who will hold the gaps, the lines, the, uh, the push-throughs you create, so they are just yeah. pushing and not actually have to hold the territory. It's more than enough, yeah. Okay. But if you have it alone as solemnly just a tank army, it's probably going to... Well, in the beginning it will be go great because you're just punching through them. Yeah, true. But in the end it probably will be your undoing because they will, have, will run out of manpower. Especially if the enemy has troops to actually pierce your armor. As long as they can't okay. pierce your armor, you're all good as well. They but probably won't. My tank division always look like um, a row of tanks and yes. then a row of either motorized or mechanized to bring up the HP. So okay. my heavy tank division at the moment has 139.2 HP. Which is okay-ish. I'd rather have it higher, but that's how high I got it. Again, you want to move troops through my territory? Sure. Can I create a faction with you by any no. chance now? I don't think so. Create a faction. You cannot create factions without having the national spirit to do so. See, Germans will send me a Gendry division. Well, that doesn't help you if you don't have a foothold in Sweden anywhere. Uh, no, <laughs> so... Don't don't you have the superiority, the naval superiority? No, I'm just building a lot of destroyers now. And putting them in one. In one fleet? Like, how, how many... Uh, they got still uh, about 30, so that's why. Mm-hmm. That's actually pretty much... Done. So my infantry is all up to the strongest they can be. Let me check out how big is your fleet. Um, 20 to 24 ships. Could be more, could be less. What do you mean? My fleet? Yep. Yeah. It's like 20. Exactly 20. Exactly 20. Yep. And the Germans just sent me like 6 divisions, but they're just guarding a harbor. That's good. 
Well, they will not uh, actually do a naval landing for you. Uh, but if you take the uh, if you take a harbor and if you have a foothold, they probably will ship them over to fight as well. Maybe. Sometimes I don't know what the Allies do with their troops. I had another play where they just uh, with Declan, where they just actually the Americans sent me some troops for some reason. I don't know why. Um, but they're just occupying uh, two harbor regions where they do don't don't do nothing actually. They're just okay. sitting there. Well, on the other hand, it guards the harbors there, which is nice. Yeah, that's true. Helps me out as well. Somehow, somewhat. But yeah, not that much. <laughs> I'd rather have them on the front. Well, I don't need them on the front, but to have them on the front would, would you be rather nice. would. Yeah. So anyway, guys, that's going to be it for this episode. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, hit the like button. You can also subscribe to the channel or follow me on Facebook, Twitter. Links in the video description, like always. And like always, thanks for watching. Have a good day. Bye-bye.